Hi, this is Connie Lindsay from Crafting a Joyful Life, and today I want to share with you this little card that I made yesterday from the Barn Door Stamp Set that Stampin' Up! has available now in the Occasions Catalog that's live through May 31st. And you can see you get this cute little barn door and a, um, a choice of wreaths, a little sign, and some great little greetings. And then um, if you buy the bundle, then you'll get the framelits that will cut out the individual pieces. So I want to show you what um, what I did with the, the card, with the stamp set and the framelits. Now if you look here, it, um, a lot of the cards you've seen with this barn door probably are the slider cards because this framelit will help you create um, a slider card so that a lot of people have one barn door and uh, I'll show you on this this other one that I have here. They'll have the one barn door and then it slides back and forth and that's a cute idea but I decided to go for the traditional real barn um, and when I was looking at it I my mind just went back years and years to that little show that I used to watch about Mr. Ed and Mr. Ed was a horse that uh, could talk to his owner Wilbur and he would um, walk up to the half door in the barn and and push open the the door and then begin to talk and uh, so I decided to to recreate a version of that card so the horse actually comes from a stamp set that has retired um, but you may have that or know someone who does it's called Horse Frontier and uh, here it is right here and it has the horse and the horseshoe and a couple of nice greetings but um, so I pulled that out and uh, and decided that the scale was right and that that Mr. Ed could be standing behind the barn doors and so um, let me talk to you just a little bit about how I made it this is actually mounted on a piece of cardstock that is mounted with the dimensionals onto the card itself that I'll put the greeting in. And then um, the what I did was I cut two separate barn doors and I, I can kind of show you on this other one that I've, that I've started. And, um, and then I attached the first barn door on the right with snail, so it's just stationary there. And then I've got dimensionals on the back side and you can see where I cut this one. I cut it across and then I cut a little bit off the edge there so that it will appear as if it's uh, swinging open. And I actually did make it swing open on this one but um, and I think the light is not good enough to tell but it the cardstock kind of uh, got a little tear uh, trying to bend it back like that. Although I did use the um, Oh, the Stampin' Trimmer and scored it right there along that seam and that that did help a lot but I just worried that um, that that would be a problem and so I just decided it doesn't really have to actually fold back it is just a greeting card and so then I'll attach this side with the with the uh, with the tear and tape onto this card right here and then you can see that I cut off this edge here because that's the part that would be um, bent back and so this makes it look like the door has been flung open and then uh, you can see the little handle on the door and that actually is a piece in the framelit it's a little tiny piece it there's the the, the uh, framelit that cuts it out but it's a really nice touch and I was able to um, attach that with a glue dot that I cut in half so that was a little tricky <laughs> but it worked and so then here is the horse that I made this morning and I, I stamped him and colored him um, brown I wanted to see I purposely left this one white because I wanted with the white embossing the white horse to kind of pop up but I wanted to see what it would look like if it was brown and and I, I kind of like it and then um, 
what I colored him with was one of the um, watercolor pencils. It's the early espresso, and then I just went back with the um, the blender pen, which smooths out the lines and almost makes it look like watercolor. And so that's how I colored him. And then I did take my basic black Stampin' marker, and I went around the edges because I didn't want the white to show. On this card, there is white showing, and it doesn't make any difference because it doesn't pop out at you because his body doesn't have color on it. But um, but it did, I thought, um, kind of give a bad look to it. So I, I just do that with the marker. And so you just arrange your little horse behind there, and uh, but not too much because you want to give your um, your wreath room to hang on the door. And this is also in the framelit. This is I went with the more rustic wreath. Uh, there's a really cute floral wreath there, but I I went with the oh I could just see this out of that. Uh, that straw color and so I'm just gonna hang that and I I just put the mini dimensionals those are so awesome um, you know it used to be you'd have to cut those bigger dimensionals into little bitty pieces but no more you can just use the minis and so that would go right there and then to make the door I use the smallest stitched framelit square and that those stitched framelits are really nice. That you get the the uh, circles and the squares. And then once I had cut it out, I used the um, early espresso in or crumb cake. I used crumb cake ink and we used my sponge dauber on that. And then I'll just attach that with the dimensionals, and it will look as if it's hanging on that little nail in the barn. So. Um, the, the backing of this, I decided to go a little fancier, uh, step it up a little bit, and um, I have a, an embossing folder that is, actually this is the first time I'd used it. It's the Pinewood Planks Dynamic Textured Impressions folder, and the, these are great. They're heavier than a regular one, and uh, gives a nice texture to it. And it's kind of hard to tell with the light probably but this is it's easier to see on the paper itself and the scale is not quite the same I realized that the those are huge boards but um, I thought oh well it's just a greeting card and I think it does lend a nice texture and so when I get all that attached then I have dimensionals on the back of this plank sheet and then I will just attach that to the base of the card which is also real red and then it will be ready for a greeting but uh, it's one of the joys of stamping is how you can make the sets work together and all the supplies and and uh, come up with something uh, that you're excited to share and send out to a friend so if you have questions um, about the cards or the techniques just leave a comment below the video or you can travel over to my blog texasschoolmarm.com and leave a comment there and I will be sure to get back to you and in addition to having the video posted embedded on my blog I will also have um, a complete list with links to my online store of the supplies that I've used and you know as always I would be so grateful if you would choose me as your demonstrator uh, when you make your order so that's all for today thanks for sharing some time with me have a great day.